I feel very privileged today because I'm about to see one of city and country's factory number one converted apartments and to show me around the city and country's design and planning director, Simon Vernon Harcourt. Now this is meant to be very special. Simon. Hi George. It's so good to see you again, are you well? Yeah, I'm really good. This is, this is something quite special again. Welcome to the ballroom. This is the ballroom it's for the wheels, the bag of battery. It's unbelievable. It's where they made the big decisions. And, and this was the whole boardroom, was it so all the way to that back wall? All the way to the back there. wall. So this, you can imagine there would have been a huge table surrounded by chaps. Yeah, it would have with, all been men seats. smoking yeah. cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes. And I think we've, we've got in some of the panelling, we've got cigarette butt marks. No way. Where they've been stubbed out in the panels. It's just the, no it's just way. the, 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 the cigarettes are literally in the grain of this building. It's an amazing reflection, isn't it, about what kind of boardrooms were like for industrial manufacturing businesses back in the day. And you can know it's an important room because look at the ceiling, a Jacobean ceiling. I mean, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Look at the decoration on that. It's mind boggling. Yeah. So the ceiling's all been restored. The floor's gone back to the right level so you can see all the skirtings. I mean, the fireplace, I mean, luckily, all that. these beautiful glazed tiles on the hearth were still underneath Are there. they all original? So they're the original. They are immaculate, aren't they? Yeah, no, I mean, they're a beautiful colour. I mean, they are, they are a kind of tobacco-y colour too. I was just so about I, to say, so, they yeah. are tobacco tiles, yeah. aren't they? It doesn't yeah, get much better than that. Did you have to do much work to the panelling? Because it, it looks, all of it to me, looks absolutely immaculate. So some of it is brand new. So we found some amazing carpenters and craftsmen. I'm trying to spot the brand new bits because I can't impossible. see brand new anywhere. But a lot of this is new. That's brand new. Most of that is brand new. So there were there were odd bits of panelling in strange places. So the gaps and the bits and pieces that were missing, we've recreated to create this wonderful panelling. We've had a French polisher in the building for about a month, slowly working through things, matching colours to blend it all in. Otherwise it would have been obvious what was old and what was new. Normally you can spot what's old and new. Yeah. Normally you get it yeah, yeah. in a second, really. Yeah. I swear, I cannot see no, the I'm... old and the new. I can't. One of the challenges is this is a great big room, and but we needed to get a kitchen in here somewhere. So actually, don't tell me the kitchen's this, on the other side. Of that. No way. And a very contemporary kitchen, isn't it? It does contrast with the rest of the space in a good way. But this beautiful, restored, rebuilt, partly new panelling provides a wonderful screen, doesn't it, between yeah. kitchen dining and living on the other side. Yeah, it does. It's, it's a wonderful great. apartment. So should we go downstairs outside? We can have a look from the outside at this and some of the other buildings which harks back to the industrial heritage. Absolutely, right. let's go. Fabulous. I might have to buy this flat, I think. <laughs> Here we are, grand door to lead us outside. Oh, lovely hallway. I have to say, it's even at this time of year, Things are looking very green and beautiful. You've created this fantastic oasis. Bedminster is a busy, bustling, vibrant area of Bristol, but to have this little oasis surrounded by these buildings, it's like a massive scale walled garden, really, it where is. instead of a little wall, you've kind of got three stories of buildings around you. Yeah, and, and you know, we are right in the heart of the city. You know, the old city's just over there. Yeah. I mean, the road on the other side of there is a busy, thriving road. It it's, is. A, it's like a busy little high street. It is. You can hardly hear anything when you're in here. Yeah. So just talk me through each section of the buildings that we've got around this beautiful oasis space and a little bit about names. Where we've just come from is Regent House, yeah. which is where the, essentially the director's suite. Yeah, which is we up were there. up on the ground first, second floor, yeah. where you could see the tall windows. So that's where we were. We then come around to Consort House, which has shops and cafes and things on the ground floor and apartments above. And they're all complete and completely solid. They're all full. Everyone's in there. Everyone's, Everyone's in living there. there now. Everyone's that's in there. That's fantastic, that. Brilliant. And then here. And then if we go around, we've got the tobacco store, which is in the location where the tobacco store was. Our new buildings, we've tried to pick up on industrial, kind of Victorian architecture. So you've got a solid base with huge, great big stone arches at the bottom, and they get smaller as you go up. You can see the brickwork cutting in. There's a great tradition in Bristol and in other areas of having great big lettering 
on the front of your building. So that's what we wanted to do here. We've got the tobacco store. Everybody knows it's a tobacco store. No one's going to miss it. The postman's always going to find it. You could it. not miss that at all. But that's a great sign. We've got the capstan room, which is which was a some kind of medieval winch, but it was their brand of cigarettes. And that's a very industrial building. I mean, you've exposed the entire steel frame, haven't you? It's like these brick insert panels to form the walls of each apartment. I mean, that that industrial feel is very strong and quite brave, I have yeah. to say. And then beyond that, we're going to go and see the cutting room, which is the tallest building we're building, which takes on the kind of brick architecture we've got here that goes up to nine floors and offers amazing views. So, so should we wander over and Absolutely. have a look? Let's have a look. Simon, we're up here at the ninth floor and I have to say the views are just spectacular, aren't they? I think this is this is one of the tallest buildings in this part of Bristol. It's it's great. And this must be one of the tallest buildings that city and country have done. It is the tallest building. The I've tallest ever done. building. It is the tallest, the building. tallest yeah. building you've yeah. done. But even though it is staggeringly high, it kind of works, doesn't it? Because of the I suppose the topography of the city, because it rises up at that size, it rises up with the hills at that side. It's kind of in keeping. It yeah, you're nestled in this kind of yeah. valley with the hills all around you. So we're probably not higher than the hills around us. So it's great that you can see, because Bristol is quite an urban centre, but to be able to see the soft landscape beyond and the fields and you know, the sun's just coming out, what a, what a great thing to see every morning. When you Absolutely. Get we should talk about the views you're going to get at the lower levels. You might not be able to see as far as that, but you're very much going to be connected to the greenery of wonderful landscape gardens, aren't you? Yeah, so as we, you go down the levels and as you come out to this building, we've created this little oasis in Bedminster where you've got the shell of the historic buildings on one side, our new buildings on the other side, and this green space that terraces up with planting. So you're away from the hustle and bustle. Absolutely right. fantastic. Well, whoever owns one of these apartments is going to be very, very lucky. They are, yes. Very lucky. I'm yeah. quite jealous, actually. <laughs> Very jealous. Shall we have a look around? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Great modern, apartment. Tri modern double glazing. Yeah. Amazing views all around. Every apartment has a terrace. Um, this, this one has this little inset into the facade to protect you from the wind, but still give you the wonderful views of the landscape beyond. Fantastic. And, uh, so, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite proud of this one. Let's see some more. So another apartment here, views two ways, laser glass, city, countryside bridge. What more could you want really? I mean, and even though the other one's an amazing apartment, in some ways I prefer this one personally <laughs> because you get more direct views of the city, yeah. don't you? It's kind of nicely yeah. framed. Fantastic. Oh, Let's keep going. going. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for showing me around today. It's so nice to come back and see how much it's moved on and it looks brilliant. Still a way to go. Still a way to go. I mean, it's always a pleasure, George, to show you around, see the transformation we're doing. Oh, I love my job and I love showing you around and showing everybody what we're doing. I'll see you again soon. Nice Take to see you, George. Thank you. Bye.